Hello everyone. It is Wednesday and I'm Wanda and I'm here to share my passion for friends, yes. faith, fashion, and food with you. And I'm so excited yes. because with me today is my friend and fellow author, Rebecca Lusk. Rebecca Lusk is an author of four children's books in a series called It's All About. So her books are It's All About Being Tall. It's All About Being Small. That's my personal favorite. And yes, for both of us. Uh, it's All About Being Smart. And then your newest one is It's All About Being Strong. Yes. And so uh, Rebecca and I, or Becky as I call her, uh, we went to Writing with Purpose. Yes, we did. And Thank it, you, Michelle. Yes, it was great. And uh, we talked a lot there, or there was a session on why we write. And so I know you and I both have been given that a lot of thought, why we write. Yes. And so I wanted to ask you to tell me about your passion about writing and your books. Well, let's see. Uh, actually, I guess I would just very simply have to say my passion is that I write because I want to speak to children about the love that Jesus has for them. And uh, all of my books segue into the salvation plan. So, there you have it. I just want everybody to know Jesus. Oh, and they're good for all ages. Just remember that, too. Because the plan of salvation it's, it's good for, for everybody. Everyone. It is. And you were talking about getting uh, getting them translated into Spanish, and I think that's a wonderful yeah. idea. We're hoping to. Let yeah, me see. Great. I've got to make sure that you can see this here. Yeah. So how does your faith um, affect your writing? It sounds like it's a lot of your purpose. Well, that's what brought me to writing was my faith and my desire to see that other children could... Uh, all children, all ages, could know what Jesus is uh, wanting from them. And that's, so it doesn't matter if you're tall, small, strong, or smart. What matters is, does Jesus live in your heart? And it even rhymes. And it even rhymes. Like your books Which do. my books do, too, yes. <laughs> so I, I'm always impressed with someone who can rhyme because I do not have the rhyming gene. Uh <gasps> I can write a little prose, but I sure can't write poetry. So, Becky, tell us, uh, what are you currently working on? Or what, what's been uh, your, your oh. recent passion? Uh, well, my recent passion is that I do want to continue with the It's All About Books. There should be, God Lord willing, um, a couple more in the series yet. And I would very much like to uh, get a devotional or a women's journal or something. I'm working on something like that. I and I know you have a, a few a few pages done of that, oh, yeah. I've heard. I do. So that's I good. That's I don't good. know. <laughs> it's exciting, though, it to is. what you have in the future. Okay, so tell us, how can people find out more about your books and hopefully even... Uh, buy all four books for their children or their grandchildren or for their church library or okay. for their homeschool group? How would they find more about your books? Well, you can go to my website, www, www, you know that whole thing. Like Wednesday yeah. with Wanda. Okay. Wednesday with Wanda. That's oh, right. That's it. Wednesday with Wanda. Uh, Rebecca Clar, K-L-A-R, Lusk, L-U-S-E. K as in kite. Mm. Uh, website, or uh, you can find me on Facebook. And uh, if you order them personally by messaging me on Facebook, I'll sign them for you. Ooh, a personally autographed yes. copy. <laughs> so they really should go to Facebook and connect with you. Yeah. That would be I'd great. I love that, yes. And like you, like your page. Oh, yes, like me. Yeah. And there's an author page. So that's the one, Rebecca Clarlosk, author, speaker. I'll come speak at your church too if you like me to. Yeah, I'd do that. Or read to read to or their read children. To children. Yeah. yeah, that would mm. be great. We'd have a good time. Well, you know, this year uh, we've been talking a lot about creativity, uh, 
And actually, you and I both have been reading that great book, Call to Create. And so I wanted to ask you about a couple of things that are a passion to me. Oh and one of them is fashion. And I know everybody's laughing because they don't think that I'm exactly, you know, a fashion <laughs> model or anything. But it is something a passion of mine. <laughs> and so I wanted to ask you to describe your personal style. Uh, definitely casual. Very casual. And I love to be with kids, so I'm... And, and you were as, a, uh, as elementary school teacher. school teacher. Yeah, and here's the other thing. You can tell, I, I'm not from the South, but I am a Southern girl now, Tennessee here, y'all. So I, I'm a jeans and boots and country girl. But you, you have your fashionable jeans with the, the I holes. I got the holes in them. I Did, had to pay for these holes I in know, my pants. I know, and all you have to do is cut a hole. I know, but, and it used to be my mother would never let me be seen with holes in my pants. But now it's all a style, and you look really cute. I know both of us are petite. We are petite. So you have to... It's all about being small. It is. It is, girlfriend. <laughs> so uh, I love the way you are dressed today. I think you look very casual, very uh, cute, and... And cozy. It's a cold day here in Tennessee. So, also, I wanted to ask you about your closet. And so, tell me what your closet looks like. Hmm, my closet. Well, I like to organize. The truth of it is, my clothes are color coordinated. Well, that's a good thing. So, are match. they, you have a lot of casual clothes, I'm guessing. Yes. And so, do you have them organized? Like, do you have all your jeans together? Oh, yeah, the jeans and are the together. T-shirts yes, and all that. Yeah, it's, it's okay. all. And this, I guess, is a work T-shirt, oh, actually. Oh, th this, this, uh, this is my uh, promotional T-shirt. <laughs> there you go. It's, and it's awesome. I have a variety really of cute. these, you know. <laughs> it's really cute. Thank you. I love it. So, the other thing uh, that I wanted to ask you about, which is another passion of mine, because, you know, I am passionate about teaching other people like basic cooking skills and if you look at my youtube channel which i hope you will uh i have my cooking with grandma series there and so tell me i know you're you, you don't cook much anymore uh, but what would be like a favorite meal for you and uh not so much what you're eating but maybe what's the What's the event and who's there and, and all that? Because food is not just about what you're eating, but it's the whole kind of it's experience, fellowship. right? It is. Food and fellowship. Yeah. Um, I don't have a favorite food. Um, and I can cook. I just choose not to. So, you know, it's just a personal thing. But I love to have food with family and friends. It's always good. There's something about gathering around the table and having conversation and just sharing with one another. And I do feel that we're missing that in this generation. A lot of us are missing that. So We eat so much food in the car. Yes. Or, or in, in front, front of, of the, the TV. We're guilty of that as well. And so we need to uh, just take time. Just take time. Even if it's a couple times a week, I think we should sit down. And In fact, that's something all I always wanted to write about, and that was I learned it in the kitchen. And okay. it wasn't cooking. It was what I learned around the table. Right. I, I do love to cook, uh, but I remember when my children were younger, I would be cooking at the stove and helping them with their homework at the same yes. time. And I would say, read that to me. And so, not only, and I, I, there, I'm not a teacher, so I didn't know what I was doing, but actually... You were teaching. I was teaching, <laughs> and I was helping them learn to read, and I was reinforcing that they could read. Right. I, I'm surprised at how many people say they don't know their That's children correct, can't read. Say. And so I guess they've never read to them, which kind of segues us back to a what? good thing to read with your children Absolutely. would be Rebecca's, to read my books. Rebecca's books. <laughs> yeah. 
or let Rebecca come and read to them. <laughs> um, so thank you for being here today oh, with me. Pleasure. This is a new and great adventure for me, so I'm glad to be here. It's good. I'm it's sitting in the guest good. chair. Yes. <gasps> Wow, and so she honored. flew me in. Yes, all the way from Mount Julia. All the way. Great. I mean, it's just great. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's it, No, it's a privilege of mine to have um, such talented friends. And so if you're a friend of mine, you may be getting an invitation to do an interview. You will sit in this chair. You may chair. sit in this chair or one very similar to it. But I'm getting it ready for you. There you go. And it's very comfy. So, uh, thank you for being here today, and remember that you can order Rebecca's books by going to her Facebook page, Rebecca Clark Lusk, author and speaker. So, just uh, type that in in the search bar on Facebook and find her, like her page, and send her a message about ordering her books. It's all about... Uh, I'm very excited about February. I do have some ideas for some topics to talk about and also some people to talk with about those topics. You might be the next and you one. And might, you might be actually sitting in this chair. So um, until next time, bye-bye.